Hi folks, this is Vijay here and I'm back with the second episode of the I Simplified Podcasts. Well, how many of you really think when you buy a gift and what are the chances that the other person really loved it? I know that the ratio would definitely not be that great. Today, in this podcast, we have a short conversation with Jyoti Ramnath from India. Jyoti founded her company called Craft My Gift after finding a need in the market to create personalized gifts which speaks emotions and preserves memories as well. She was selected as one of the 100 most inspiring young entrepreneur fellow across Asia Pacific by Foundation for Youth and Social Entrepreneurs for the year 2009 and 2010. She has also been featured in the book Inspiring Women to Start in Innovative Enterprises by Shriya Majumdar. Good to have you here, Jyoti. Why don't you tell us something more about your company? It's always good to hear from the house's mouth, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, I run a company called Craft My Gift. So the company specializes in creating gifts which are highly personalized and creative. When I say personalized, it is, it's not just about uh, adding a photo or adding a name on some gift, but it is something that goes much beyond that. Because we strongly believe that when somebody has to give a gift which uh, really they wanted to convey something, you need to personalize it in a much deeper way. So, so those are the kind of products we create. So all the ideas that we come up with are all uh, extremely creative, out-of-the-box ideas. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when I say that, it could be something like a storybook created on somebody or uh, uh, there's uh, there's like a, a magazine which is created on a couple which they can gift on their anniversary. So things like that which are completely out of the box ideas, that's what we work on. Mm-hmm. That's definitely a nice idea because most of the startup these days either do a software or venture into social media and thinking something towards gift is definitely a fantastic idea. Thanks. So well, can you share something about your background and what got you into this entrepreneurial ring? Uh, sure. See, I used to work with HP as a UI designer. Okay. So I I have been a techie as a background, but uh-huh. uh, but there was a strong uh, creative side of me which was there from the childhood which been really coming out in spurts probably. So uh, I was working with HP and uh, uh, this is some idea which was going on in my mind and I wanted to do something in the business side always. So I enrolled myself into a course at IAMB which is on women entrepreneurship. Uh, which happens every year and uh, during the course we were supposed to create a business plan so that allowed me to take this small idea into like a complete plan and uh, we also presented uh, in the idea in, in a small competition which happened at the end of the course and there we won the first prize so so that was like a huge motivation uh, for me to start uh, so after that I started uh, working on the idea much more seriously okay. though I didn't step into it full time it was like a part time venture for uh, almost moonlighting on it for uh, almost a year uh, but it gave us a good time to test by the whole idea and in that time we were also incubating at the NSR cell uh, at IMB, which again was a great experience so so that's how the things got started. Ah, it's so great to see so many young women leaders getting to be an entrepreneur. When did you identify that you had this leadership skill in you? A um, little bit of leadership qualities has been there in me naturally because I uh, when I joined HP also I remember I used to take up uh, myself, I used to take up initiatives of starting something or leading a group or starting new initiatives there, mm-hmm. uh, mentoring students. So I used to take up leadership roles. I would really go and pull my manager and tell him that just give, give me some work but I have to lead and uh, okay. I have to take decisions. So there was a very strong interest to get into a role which is strategic and you, you know, thinking about the business, you're thinking of how to sell a product and mm-hmm. things like that. So, so uh, that was one aspect of it. And second was I also became quite active uh, into events like Thai, which used to conduct these Thai summits where entrepreneurs would come and talk. So that somewhere gave me much more motivation uh, to go. So somewhere all this combined together, I, I thought of starting something on my own. So that's how your company evolved as well. What do you think is so different about Craft My Gift when compared to other players in the industry? Uh, I can easily differentiate uh, because most of the products that you find personalized are, uh, they stop at the place where they say you add a photo on a mug or there's a calendar when you add your own personal photos in each page and or you put your name engraved on some pen. Uh, what we do is, it, it's not just about adding a name. Uh, we say there is much uh, deeper way in which a personalization needs to happen. So a person, uh, the kind of gifts that we make through that, it's not just about the photos, but they get to say certain things. There's a lot of their personal instances or memories which they share through that. So it, it's at a much deeper level which really connects. And uh, after we've serviced almost around 200 plus customers till now, and Fantastic. and it, it has been, uh, we can really see that uh, when the emotional connect is required, so mm-hmm. you need to do much deeper with the gift. True. All right, uh, and uh, 
we have really seen it all coming back because uh, the amount of uh, feedbacks that we've been receiving has been completely amazing. Somebody says the wife has been in tears, or somebody was like so overjoyed, and uh, one of the mothers she almost invited us to her home for a lunch because she was so she liked the gift so much. Oh, so nice. some of the responses have been really amazing. So if you'd want to differentiate from the existing people, I'll say it's the emotional connect that our products create uh, and, and the uh, enthusiasm. And second thing is we work very personally with people. Mm -hmm. We understand uh, it is it is like somewhere you become a gift consultant because oh. you're trying to understand what is their problem, what they want to really say through the gift and then we work around that to create a gift for them. I, I totally agree with you because mm -hmm. uh, most of the times when I go and choose a gift for my friend mm -hmm. and I always a skeptical whether should I take a card or should I buy a toy and mm -hmm. There's a lot of things added to the person touch for it. Right. A lot of people have the deep intent to make a difference and really make the other person happy, but they don't know. Could be that they're themselves True. not very creative or they're, you know, not out, they're out of ideas. Also, it's, yeah. it's not that you have a standard template. So you choose whatever the template yeah. you want and just give mm -hmm. a photograph and mm -hmm. print it. I mean, you rather design it yourself. So that's one of the most positive yeah, things. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Right. Yeah. Can you just narrate any success stories of yours or probably one of the feedbacks what you got from your customer? Mm. Uh, sure, I can talk about uh, a lot of stories. One story probably which really amazed me was uh, this girl who came to us and uh, for some reason uh, she was not with her boyfriend, they had broken up. So uh, it was his, her boyfriend's birthday approaching and uh, probably there were still some sparks going on. <laughs> so she wanted us to create a gift for him which would probably bring him back. Oh. And uh, uh, the surprising thing was we had not known this girl at all, but she was so open with her uh, narrating her whole uh, story about what all had happened, and uh, it, it was really overwhelming. And so we went about creating like a love story book for her, and the story book uh, started off uh, more like a story of uh, a prince and a princess. And so it, it seemed like a story book, but somewhere all the things that it was talking about were the real uh, things about what happened to these two people. And in the end, uh, of course, she didn't want to end the story in a negative way. So we made up a story of uh, like a positive ending, of course, taking inputs from her. So, so that was something which is really unique and completely emotional uh, gift that was created. Nice. And uh, looks like when she gave it to him, he was completely touched. Uh, of course, we don't know what happened after that. <laughs> I agree, Chodi. That's really touching. Of course, it's always nice to get a gift when someone really understands what you want. Thanks a lot for your time. It was excellent talking to you and I really wish your company Craft My Gift a great success. Thanks, so, thank you. Thank you folks for listening to this podcast. I hope you enjoyed the same. Do let me know your comments at isimplified.org. Till I see you all with the next episode, it's Vijay signing off. Bye-bye.